We're following breaking news for you right now, hearing reports of a car crashing into a house off of the 2300 block of 32nd Street. Initial reports indicating there may be some serious injuries. We're working to confirm all of these details for you right now. If you're anywhere near that area, definitely be careful and we'll continue to update you as we learn more about what's going on throughout the show. Moving on, a big night for the Red Raiders as Tim Tadlock and the boys do it again. Look at them there celebrating because they're headed to the College World Series in Omaha. Good morning and thanks for joining us. I'm Avery Travis. This after a nail biter late last night with top ranked Florida across the country. That game lasting well into the night, meaning the Red Raiders will be facing the Florida Gators Sunday at six. The Red Raiders first had to defeat Duke though last night at game three at Rip Griffin Park. That's after a loss to Duke at game two over the weekend, but fans never losing hope. During the game, you could hear them cheering from the street outside the stadium there. Many fans planning their own trip to Omaha to cheer on the team in person. Time to book the trip to Omaha. Really? Yeah, oh yeah, it's time to go. Are you going to? Absolutely, 806 to Omaha. 806 to Omaha. <laughs> we don't get this opportunity very often. And I mean, we've had a great team this year, and so I'm very excited. Uh, me and my brother and my dad are gonna be taking the trip down to Omaha. But the only people more excited than the fans, Tim Tadlock and the boys themselves. On and taking in every moment. Uh, my brother called me before the game and said, uh, don't miss a beat, just enjoy everything you get to do. Um, and that final out, that's probably the most enjoyable thing I've got to do since I've been here. Definitely looked like it. Now, if you aren't headed to Omaha, you can catch the game airing on ESPN2. Well, it's a sunny day for the team, but what's it looking like outside for us here in Lubbock? Alex is in the weather lab with a look at our forecast. Thanks, Avery. So we're starting off very warm.